from Waffle TV, and today we're here with Reese Nicholson. How are you doing today? I'm all right. How are you? I'm brilliant, thanks. Good. So tell us a bit about your show. Uh, if I was like putting it in like a wanky way, it's like it's what is happiness? But uh, mainly it's just me yelling at you swear words and my opinions on things in like a good way. It's like classy filth. Yeah. That's what I've been saying. Class, filth you can show your mother. <laughs> cool. Don't don't bring your mother. Okay. <laughs> So how did you get into comedy? Was it something you always knew you wanted to do? Uh, I got to the end of high school and realised that I'd kind of got nothing out of it and just moved to, I grew up in a small town in Australia and then moved to Sydney and just started doing open mic and realised I was kind of okay at it and then yeah, that's kind of it. Brilliant. And that series of unfortunate events has led me to this lovely place. <laughs> this is your first time here, isn't it? It is. This is my first time yeah. in Europe. Oh, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm really enjoying myself. So, have you performed yet? Yeah, I've had yeah. three shows so far. Um, two out of three have been really good, and one of them was sweaty and terrifying. Oh, God, why? Um, I was just alright. I think I just terrified the audience. I, I feel like I was assaulting them. <laughs> yeah. And I was just, duh, duh. Yeah, no, it's much better now. Yeah, cool. So, do you feel it's different performing here from performing at festivals back home? Well, that's the weird thing. Like, it's hard to know what. It's hard to know whether like improvise bits so like that because I could just make references that you guys have no idea and then if someone heckles me with something that I have no idea what they mean by things and stuff. All I know is you guys know what neighbours is. Yep. And that's about all I know. <laughs> and that uh, is it Primarchs is a yep. slutty shop. That's all I know. <laughs> that's all I know. So um, how do you come up with material for your shows? I just put myself in really horrible situations and hope that funny things happen. <laughs> uh, it's funny, there's like this weird thing that I think a lot of comedians do where you're able to like already look at something in retrospect while it's happening. You're like, oh god, this is going to be like 10 minutes of material. This is really awful, but it's going to be really funny. So I kind of do that kind of stuff, just yeah. stories about myself and opinions on people. Yeah. <laughs> so you mentioned hecklers. How do you deal with hecklers? Just um, embarrass them. I think that's really the only way. That you yeah. you got to just get the whole audience on board with you and just make them so they just shut up. Yeah. Um, heckling is such a weird, strange thing. I don't really understand. It only happens in comedy. Yeah. It's only... You don't go to, like, theatre and just, like, yeah, fuck you, Ophelia. Yeah, you don't. <laughs> yeah, kill yourself. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I just find it, I find a heckling a very strange... I'm open to it. I have fun with it, but I just find it's a very strange concept. Yeah. So you're on Balls of Steel Australia already, quite I am. a lot of times, yeah. Was that was Balls of Steel a popular show here? Yeah, British it's one? really popular here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I was like the big gay following kind of thing, but the smaller, <laughs> smaller gay following. So uh, how did you get onto that? Someone had seen me do stand up and was like, "Oh, you can say filthy things to people for cash. Uh, why don't you do that on camera?" And yeah, we just I sat in an ice cream truck for about nine hours a day, offering to fist men, uh, <laughs> and I got I got money for that. So you really enjoy Comedy's it? Comedy's a dumb job. <laughs> it's not even a job. So Get into it. <laughs> after the Fringes year, what have you got planned for the next sort of year? Um, st start doing the next show. I start doing in Australia the next show that I'll be doing a week after I get back. <laughs> and then it just cycles through and then hopefully I'll come back and do another Brilliant. show for you guys. And we'll meet again on this exact date next year. Yes. yes. That's, a, that's a plan. <laughs> yeah. yeah so good. when and where is your show on? I'm on at 10.45 as a sportsman, the Gilded Balloon, I'm making sure I have all these facts right. Uh, yeah, um, and I'm here for the whole festival. So come and watch me, come and get yelled at, in like a positive way. Cool, brilliant. Well, thank you really very much that. for coming and speaking to us. Alright, thank yeah. you for having me. No problem. Bye, Waffle TV. You've been watching Waffle TV, sponsored by West Beer. Delicious.